everybody, welcome to Ancients October and this is my intro video for what I'm doing. So I'm just going to explain a little bit here what the project is and basically what I'm going to do and why I'm doing it. The reason why I'm doing it is because I got really really drunk one night, ordered some Carthaginian models, forgot I ordered them, they turned up and now I've got to have something to do with them. I've always been interested in the Second Punic War, I think everybody is interested at some point. Hannibal crossing the Alps, Hannibal taking on the might of Rome. Um, it's just one of those stories that I think it can really capture certainly a war gamer's imagination. I'm basing my army on Hannibal's army when it descended from the Alps in 218 BC. They, they're bruised, they're battered, they've been beaten by the wind for three weeks, they fought hill tribes, they've lost elephants, they've lost big sections of the army, they're hungry, but they've also gained Celtic allies. Hannibal's been there the whole time leading his men and now they're spoiling for a fight. And that's lucky because they got one. The Consul Sempronius and Scipio, they're there. Um, and I'm going to be basing this around the Battle of the River Trabia, which took place in this late December 218 BC um, between Sempronius and Hannibal. So that means I'm doing a winter Carthaginian force. So I've been doing a little bit of modelling, you'll see in a minute. There's going to be snow on the ground, there's going to be elephant prints in the snow. Uh, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm very excited about it, as you can probably tell. Um, I'm looking at two different systems for this. Um, I'm looking at Hail Caesar, which I know and I love. Um, and, you know, it's something that I can always go back to. And, you know, I think it's really easy to gain. There we go. Second one, it's Impetus. Now, Impetus is a system that I haven't yet played. Um, but it's something that I'm really interested in. I like the rules. This is all Nick, medieval wargamer's fault. Um, but I figured that I've got this project, I'll base them for this. And as you can see in this picture, they base on large bases. Um, and you have the whole unit on there and they act in a block. So lots of opportunity for modelling. The way the month is going to work, um, I'm going to be doing some update videos. I'll try and do one a week just to show you where I am and I'll show you the progress with all of the painted units. Um, I'm going to do maybe mix some history in with those, talk about the battles, talk about the, the tactics. There is loads of stuff of, on YouTube about this already, but I'm just going to do my take on things as well. Uh, there might be a couple of battle reports, not of ancient stuff, but, you know, I've still got a bit of black powder and... Uh, uh, Hail Caesar may be in the background for the medievals, but all the painting and the modelling is going to be on ancients. And I'm also going to try and throw in a couple of painting videos as well. So I'm really setting myself a task. When then I don't achieve this at the end of the month, you can all take me to task over it. Anyway, I'm going to flip the camera around and we'll have a look at what I'm going to do. Right, so let's have a look at the forces that I'm going to be painting up. So these are from two packs of Victrix miniatures. This is from the Warriors of Carthage pack and quite obviously the African War Elephant, which lets you make it up as Carthaginian, Numidian, Roman or Ptolemaic. Um, now, I've still got another elephant to make and I've got a few skirmishes. Um, I'm playing around with putting the skirmishes on the, on the basis of the elephant, um, but we shall see. So I'll show you what I've got. So... Um, here we go. So as you can see, I am basing on large single block bases. So the entire unit will be based. Now, that's purely because I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, and the impetus game system is all based on large, large bases. You could just put multiple small bases together. But I want to try it out this way. And for Hail Caesar, I don't really think it's going to have a great effect really on the gameplay. The only thing I can really see is if I want to put people marching in column, but I can work around that with some MDF counters to say they're in column. Um, so I'll just put him down again. So here is some of Hannibal's veterans. Now, as you can see, I've done some green stuff work, and that's because I want these guys to look like the grizzled veterans that have come down from the Alps. They've um, won one victory already, a minor victory. This is the first proper battle this period, but they've just crossed the Alps. So they would have winter cloaks. Um, they would have, you know, furs. Now, I know that in combat, a lot of these would be removed, but I want to have just a few in there. So I've mixed in a couple. I've done some basic green stuff work to make these, and I've tried to make them look a bit ragged and a bit tattered. You can see my little test model in there. Um, and I've tried to keep them 
sort of varied. And I've added, as you can see on this one, I've added some furs to some just to, uh, you know, mark them out as a little bit different. So that's one unit of Hannibal's veterans. And here's the other unit. Now, these aren't, as we just say, these are all on with just some uh, blue tack in a minute. So these aren't their final positions. Now, the reason these ones are headless is because uh, one of my friends has some of the Celtic uh, Victrix sets with bare heads and a bit beardy. And I figured that since these guys have crossed the Alps, there might be a few unshaven, unkempt people. So um, he's going to pass me some heads and I'm going to see if, uh, if they suit. Now, I will eventually end up mixing some into into both um, but for the moment it was just so I could paint them in certain blocks so here's the second unit of Hannibal's veterans again I've just green stuff some basic cloaks and again I've also just done some furs so that should be a lot of fun to do those I'll probably be working on those first now in the set you also get a number of skirmishers now I've chosen to basically put these on half size bases and I've got them on a base of seven. So we've got these uh, Numidian Javelin men sort of rushing forwards. And then the cool thing about these bases is it's going to allow me to do a little bit more. I can put some large rocks and it won't look as crowded as normal. And I can actually do the skirmishes, ducking and diving. So them. Now here we have the Libyo Phoenician infantry. So here, just because I basically felt that this was more appropriate I've only bothered putting a cloak and some furs on the unit leader just to denote him because there isn't actually a unit leader model um, I've left you come with two commands in the Warriors of Carthage set and I assume you could probably put them in either unit but I've, I've put them into the veterans so you've got the standard bearer but what I did do for one unit and this, this unit here I took one of the standards and I've attached it and it's quite a cool pose to that guy there and I've just chopped off and done a few kit bit of kit bashing just to get them a bit different because as you can see most of them are just standing there with their uh, spears and shields so there we have all of the Libyan Phoenician infantry now I did this before and this all fell apart so ooh. now these aren't glued down um, for the purposes of, and I haven't stuck the base yet so here is there we go the first of the African elephants with the uh, Carthaginian crew, which will be a lot of fun to paint. And I will be putting the other one together as well. And uh, we'll see how that one goes. And if, if it works out the way I want it to, I might even do a, a sort of a painting video on it. Um, here is the test base I've done for the scheme. So as this is taking place, and I'm aiming for that Battle of the River Trabia, feel it's a, still a bit alpine so i'm using the alpine mix from uh, luke's aps i've got lots of different tufts and dead grass to add to it so we've got that december feel um, and then i've got um, snow effect to put all over it but i think that's going to look quite cool when you've got a whole unit on it um well, I try and add some other little bits and bobs in there like some discarded equipment but yeah that's my test base and it was actually surprisingly easy to do just need to uh, do a little bit of work with the snow layers, put on one, sprinkle one layer on, let it dry, shake off the excess, sprinkle another layer on. That'll be quite fun. So next step. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is working on uh, some veterans and um, I will basically work out my schemes. I've got a basic color scheme, which uh, if you follow my videos, you'd have seen before, but just in case anybody hasn't, that's, the basic warrior of Carthage. Now the tunic will change. I'm using shield transfers from Little Big Men Studios and uh, I want to keep it fairly fairly straightforward. And that's the basic scheme. Okay. Um, I'll do one of those units first, then I'll probably do some Libyans, veterans, Libyans, skirmishers, and then I'll reward myself with an elephant. Oh maybe I'll do mix it up a little bit, but I, I definitely want to keep myself motivated. All in all I've got about 75 models. Um, I intend on doing a progress update each week um, in October at the, uh, the start or near the start of the week and there'll be some other videos throughout. Um, as I've already said, I'll discuss the history a little bit more in other videos. We'll look at the battles a little bit more and why I've chosen certain things to do with the troop types. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I hope you guys are all keeping well. 
if you uh, enjoyed the video give it give it a like Sub if you subscribe then you'll get all these other um ancients october <laughs> videos um and i'm looking forward to doing it so uh, if you've got any questions or any suggestions pop them down in the comments i try to get back to absolutely everybody if i can um and i'm looking forward to getting stuck in and i'm looking forward to you guys being along as well so take care of yourselves and i'll see you all again soon cheers